Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. It is time for another colouring book uh, haul and supplies haul. Uh, yeah, I said I wasn't going to buy much this month. I lied. The first thing I did do is I did buy another set of those uh, Norris Studler pens from Lidl's because I lost the green one. Of course, I found the green one. Now I've got two sets, but I don't know where they are. So, oh, it's this set here. Uh, this is the one, this set. I bought another set of these because I'd lost that green and I found it now. So Now I've got two sets, but that's okay. Right, what else did I get? I went to Polycraft and I bought some polychromos. These are to replace ones that are getting short. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There was going to be another one, but they didn't have it in stock. I think there was more than that, but that's it. Then it was a green one. So these are pretty much the colours I use the most. So, what colours did I get? I got brown ochre, madder, cobalt green, I love that colour, black, uh, what's this one, deep scarlet red, and deep red, so I love my reds, and then I got Pathalo blue they're the ones I use much and there's a green one they didn't have the green one in stock so next time I go uh, to Hobbycraft I will have another look and I will take another list of anything I need because I'm using them a lot more and it's I might as well buy them open stock I did get the 12 set of Pentel dual hybrids I have used them a little bit they are really nice um, I haven't used them much I'm sure I've used them in one book this month um, but yeah, they're really nice colours. I have got a swatch of them so that I can see which one I want. But yeah, they're, they're really interesting pens. Excuse me. So you've got pink and metallic pink, black and red and so on. But yeah, they're really nice actually. They look really good and I definitely have used them in one picture that you will see. So I'm just going to pop them back into the little bag they came in. I don't have a pencil case for my gel pens it's something that's on my list to get at some point um what else did I get I got the Bambino crayons I saw well that Chelsea mentioned these and she, that she'd used them on various bits and I have coloured a whole picture just with these which you'll see in my completed pages shortly that'll be the, the next video so yeah I mean there's 24 I've swatched them they're really nice colours you can colour a picture with them if you want and it's nice sometimes just to sit there with crayons and, and colour with crayons. I went into Tesco and they had the Bic Intensity felt pens in the 12 pack on so I thought oh they're three quid I'll get them and see what they're like. Considering the 24 set on Amazon is a tenner, three quid for the 12 is not bad and I have used them, I like them. They're very nice, they'll be alright for doing like uh, mandalas and patterns where you don't want to use necessarily all of your alcohol markers. So, oh, oh, excuse me, I will be using them like all my Norris ones in pattern books and stuff like that. But yeah, they're alright, they're not bad. And for three quid, you can't go wrong. Lidl's had their back to school stuff in. And they had their... Uh, United Office gel pens. Now I've had these before from them but they came in a pl just plastic and they're really nice pens and I got two sets and I really want to use the neons. So I'm going to do a pattern with those neons this month, uh, well in September. So you got 12, I think it's, was it 10 metallic, 10 neon and 10 glitter. So I'm going to use the, the 10 neons for a paper. Um, excuse me, a pattern and see how they go. But I got two packs of those because I know I like them. Even I went to my dad shopping the other day and he like, oh look, and he pulled them out. I went, yeah, I got two packs of them already. <laughs> so even my dad knows I love my gel pens. He, I love my colouring. Paul's dad comments on my Insta pictures when I put pictures of my colourings on Instagram. He says, I do some nice stuff. My next door neighbours love it. So, and I find it relaxing to colour in the garden the other day. It was lovely. So if that's two packs of those, they'll keep me going in the gel pens for a while, won't they? While I was in Hobbycraft, I was looking at the markers. And I was looking at the pro markers and they were like £2.50 each or £22 for 12. And I thought, oh, I can't justify that, I can't. And then I was in the sale aisle and they had sets one and two on offer for £11 each. So I picked up sets one and sets two of the Windsor and Newton Pro markers. 
so to give them a try so next time I'm in even if I have to pay for a set like the full price I will um, I've swatched them I do like them. I haven't got the swatches here but oh if I can get the top off you've got a nib like that your normal bullet nib and you've got your your chisel tip now I'm, I never use a chisel tip I'm not a big fan of them um, so you actually get 13 pens in each set because you do get a blender pen I haven't even looked at that yet I can't even get it back in let me have a look and find a blender this one I think so here and here's the blender so again I can't get the tops off today it's just a normal alcohol blender with a bullet and a chisel but it's a small bullet nib it's not a thick one so again even though it looks like these pens are going to be horrendously thick they're not that bad and the colours are so vibrant but yes I think I'm going to try and collect some more of those so next time I go to Hobbycraft I don't know when that'll be but it uh, might be in the next week or so now I've been paid I might pick up the next another set and see what they've got so that's it so that's all for the supplies this month not a huge amount of supplies obviously with I spent 22 quid on the pro markers so we're going to go on to the books I'm just going to flip them over so they're in some kind of order <laughs> oh again I've bought too many I know I know um so let's go through them now as you know every month I'm buying one Jade Summer and one Ava Brown the Ava Brown is god knows where in here somewhere but I bought the mom colouring book because I am a mom so that's that one my mom is my best friend I'd agree with that actually she is my best friend and the mom and the little boy I think it's so cute I love my son I don't have a son but hey I get I know the sentiment little tortoises they're just so sweet I just think they're adorable things nice to colour for Mother's Day put them on the floor then I picked up a zombies colouring book I don't know why I just thought oh you know zombies why not I might do a flip through this one so they got some black lines so you don't have to colour it all in I like that Zinder instead of Tinder <laughs> that's quite funny and she's showing her pretty bit not her, her zombified side that's a cool one I like that one so yeah that's the zombies colouring book. Oh, they're eating some brains. How lovely. So zombies. Now, I managed to pick up, I know that it's out, It's hard to get, I think it's out of print, A Million Owls by Lulu May. And I got this on eBay and it was it was nine quid. And I know that you can get them for six or three pounds. But from what I gather, it's out of print. If you look on Amazon, it was like there's one copy on there was for 59 pounds. But I found a seller on eBay that had like 10 of them and for a tenner each, which is fine. It's nine pound 50 something, so. I thought I'd pick it up, add it to my Lulu Mail. Oh, look how cute that is. I'm going to have to do one of these this month, I think. I um, should be doing a buddy colour with Chelsea in one of the, in the, I think it was Lulu Mermaids, Lulu Mer uh, Million Mermaids, we said. So there's that one. And I quite like the owls. They're really cute, actually. And I got the, the Jade Summer Mini Mandalas. I can pop that in my handbag if I'm going anywhere and we sit down take some gel pens, a handful of gel pens. Some of these are ones that are in, well, they're all in the bigger book, I think, some of them. Most of them are. I know some of them are. Um, so, it's, yeah, it says copyright 2017 to 2019. So it's 50 mandalas from each of these books, which I've got. I've got all the books, um, but two copies of each, which is fine because they're little tiny ones. And it tells you which book they come from, Magical Mandalas, Animal Mandalas, Mandalas for Beginners, and flower mandanas. So the fact that I've got them all doesn't really bother me because it's something I can slip into my handbag. Um, for instance, if we're going out somewhere and I might be hanging around for a while, like if somebody's got an appointment or if I'm at the doctor's surgery and I have to go, sometimes I have to go for like uh, blood pressure or from a flu jab. And if I'm waiting around any time, I've got a colouring book in my bag. Next is the Colouring Heaven Unicorns special. I have not coloured in this. I'll admit this I've been I've been colouring but not much uh, mostly patterns this month because of being so feeling so poorly but I do like this so we've got um, ones by White Stag, Selena Fennec and Heather R Hitchman I like that one 
That's one. They're really, they are really nice. It's just, I just haven't had a chance to to colour in it. I am still not colouring the Care Bears one, and that's one I really want to colour in, and I'm definitely going to do it with markers in September. But yeah, so there's a full flip through of this up on the channel if you want to have a look at it. You can order this if it's still available from the Anthem website. First of the Ava Brown PDFs. So they put out a few, I think it's four or five I've got to show you this month. Uh, I've got Forest Animals and I'm just going to show you a few of these. These are really detailed. Uh, my ink was running out and uh, then I changed it, as you can see. But on these it's not so bad because it's not grayscale, so I'll be able to just go over the top of it. And you can see I changed it. <laughs> changed the ink. I've got a uh, HP Instant ink, so I've got plenty of ink. They just send it to me when I, they think I need it. So. Yeah, these are really nice. I think I'd have to be in the mood to colour one, but they are absolutely gorgeous pictures. I mean, look at that. But yeah, so that's Forest Animals. I got Classy Princesses Colouring Book for Adults by Demita Victoria. I love her pictures, but it says Princessa, Princessa, something like that. Princess, uh, Princess. However, they just look like classy ladies, you know, like they just put with them, you know, this just looks like the beautiful women book. Same sort of busy background, which is fine. But some of them look absolutely stunning. Some of them absolutely love that one with the hat. And again, you get two lots of 25, so you get two copies of each. That's a nice one. I really like that one. And that one. They're really, she does some beautiful women, or the company does some beautiful women. Um, that's a nice one. But I just find the backgrounds too busy, so I do blank them out either with um, a black marker pen, so it gives a damask or damask uh, background, or sometimes with acrylic paint, depending on what I'm in the mood for. Back to another Eva Brown PDF. Oh, this one Secret Village Gnomes. This is so cute. I can't wait to colour it. I haven't coloured it yet, guys, but I will be coloring it soon. Look at these little houses. These are, and the little gnomes are so adorable. And these are just, I just love just sitting here and colouring these with markers because they're so simple to colour. And they're so nice. I mean, look at that. It's adorable. You could do it with pencils if you wanted to, or you could do it with markers or crayons. Uh, and that's what I like about it. There's no wrong or right with colouring. That's why I find it really relaxing. And there's the colour test page and the cover. But yep, that's Secret Village Gnomes. Oh yes. <laughs> and then I got the Ava Brown Chibi colouring book, which I actually bought from Amazon. Because I've got Chibi Girls 2, but that's grayscale. They haven't put this one out in grayscale, so I just thought, I'm just going to get it. Um, as you can see. They're great, two of each, as always, but that's fine. I don't mind that, because like I said, when I finish with the book, I should give it to Jennifer when she's older, if she wants to colour it. And I can always pull my pages out and put them into a folder with my other Ava Brown pages. So that's Chibi Girls. And then we've got another one. Fairies colouring book by Ava Brown, of the PDF. Here we go, should we have a look? Again, oh, look at these fairies, they're so beautiful. I will be definitely, I like that one, definitely colouring these, some of these in this next month because I love these fairies. Um, I'm very lucky to be on the launch team, so I do make sure I leave a review and when I colour, I do post them on Instagram. Obviously show you on the YouTube channel and I also um, put them up onto my Facebook and onto the group. I just, like I said, I haven't done any PDFs this month, but you'll, we'll talk about that later. But I do, I like these. I think these are lovely. They're glass, beautiful. I can foresee a lot of glitter on these. And that one. So, yeah, that's uh, Ava Brown's Fairies colouring book. I was excited for this one. I really wanted that one, so I'm glad that one's here. I did pick up Relax With Art uh, this month. Uh, this is issue 83, summary stuff, so tents, fish, 
ice cream. Oh, I love in the sun with the swans. Cowgirl, that's cool. Sitting on the beach, that's a nice one. My mill, sunflowers. Farmer's market and so on. So I pick these up if I'm in Tesco and it's one I haven't got, so yeah. The next one is Chibi Girls Unicorn by April Amber. Saw this on uh, Chelsea's channel and thought, I just need to drink in a sec. I thought I gotta get that. Um, but I ordered it when I saw another book that came out and I'll show you that one in a minute. So again, two of each and it's the Chibi Girls on unicorns. Have a look at that. I think I just think they're adorable. It's so cute. A lot of unicorns around this month, I've got to be honest. There you go. So that's the uh, Chibi Girls Unicorn. And then I saw this on Country Girls Colouring Place, which is Misty. Chibi Girls Christmas by April Amber. I had to get this. No question. As soon as I knew this, that I like, I ordered it, and that's why I got the other one. So Chibi Girls. At Christmas time, look at them. That she's dreaming of a present that is so adorable. She's seeing her little golden ringlets. And again, it's just adorable little chibi girls. Which, oh, look, look at her cat pajamas, they're so cute. I'm singing Christmas carols. Oh, look, she's the Santa. I love that one. I love that one. I'm going to have to colour some of these definitely soon. Though I am preparing myself for Halloween. As soon as Halloween's over, it's going to be Christmas. I'm afraid. I've already started colouring Halloween pictures. You'll see that later. So there's that one. Another one of the... I think this is... Uh, there's one more after this from uh, Ava Brown. And the next one is called Country Charm. So Country Charm is simply that. It's just pictures of the countryside that you would find. So I quite like this with pictures with no people in it. I like pictures of people to do. Don't get me wrong, I love doing people. But sometimes it's nice to think, I'm just going to colour something really simple. There's a hammock, there's some flowers, there's a sky, there's some ducks. They're not over complicated, they're just really nice. You could just think, oh, I'm just gonna come in and look, there's some, with some geese here. Um, there's a cat, that's the cover page, it's absolutely sweet. You know, they're just nice and simple ones, like the gardener ones that they had before. I did a free in that one, I love them. This is that sort of thing, you've got the pail and the water pump. I just really like it, I think it's really sweet, so. That one is Country Charm. I don't know how many books there are this month. I will count them. Halloween Colour by Number by Prachi Duan Sachdeva, which is Sachi Sachdeva's wife. And I wanted me some Halloween colour in Colour by Numbers. And I'd seen these, as you can see, I've coloured in them as well, um, on somebody else's channel. And I thought, well, they look all right. And I, I've got the one by Sachi and Sachdeva. And I thought, well, let's have a go. And this one is a nice, simple one with big black lines and great pictures. And I think this is just going to be just fun. I love this one. It's got a purple dress on. I like it. Eventually I will work out my colour combinations and write them down for whichever set of pens I'm using. I think I want to say I used Everblend in these. It's definitely a alcohol mark. Yeah, it was, it was Everblend because one of them's running out. That's why there's a piece of paper stuff in it to try and stop it from going orange if I've used the red. So that is Halloween Colour by Numbers by Prachi Dewan Sachdeva. And I also got by Prachi Duan Sachdeva Halloween colour by number for adults. So this is a different one uh, that she's got out. Like I said, on this colour test page there, so I'll put them there. This one's a little more in depth, a little more detailed, but still not, not over the top. Nice and simple. And I just thought it'd be nice to have some colour by number for Halloween. I like this one. Um, and again, I've done one in here, which I will show you. 
see that's me printing off when I put a new in cartridge in. Uh, when I'm showing you my completed pages, again using the Everblend markers, so that's why the thing's still in there. Penultimate book for this month, for August. I am filming this on the 31st of August and you'll find out why at the next book. And it's another Ava Brown PDF and this one is called Autumn Scenes. So again, oh look at that, I like that. A simple, non-people mostly pictures, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't looked at it yet properly. I actually printed this one out tonight. Um, just having a bit of a move around downstairs so there's stuff everywhere so it's hard for me to get to the printer but yeah it's just nice autumn scenes again it's one of those ones where there's no people it's just little <laughs> pumpkins and things which is really nice it's just nice like I said to not have to worry about people and, sh and shading people's faces and stuff and just enjoying the, the pictures so there we go and the reason I waited for today is because Today, this afternoon, I finally got Beauty of Horror 5, Haunt to Fame. So yeah, I love Alan Robert. My biggest thrill last week is that he started following me on Instagram. <laughs> I know, but he did, so I'm really chuffed. And I'm actually working on one of his pages as well this month, because I've got a whip, which you would have seen of the, um, the heads on the pikes. I'm trying to finish that off. So you've got uh, various things. Now I'll admit, I don't actually know who some of these people are. I, and I, obviously I know that's the Beatles. And I know that's John Lennon and that's David Bowie, but like, um, I, I know who that is, I think. Yeah. But so, and I know obviously you know who that is. But some of them I, I don't know. Uh, I will admit it, I don't know them all. Yeah, that's Carrie Fisher over there. Um, so I'd, I'm not sure who this is. I don't know. I know there's a Wizard of Oz one. I know that's uh, Freddie Mercury. There was, where's it gone? Can I find that? I don't know where it is. There's a Liberace one, Elvis. I don't know where it is. Might be further this way. Was of Oz, so um, Judy Garland and uh, the Monkeys. I, I'm a huge Garland fan. Ed Garland Poe does not offend me. Amy Winehouse. I'm not sure who that is. Julius Caesar. You know, so I know some of them, but I don't know them all. Oh, Janis Joplin. This is um, based on a famous painting, which is also based on a picture. Um, there was a picture based on the famous painting that had loads of famous people in a bar drinking. And you got, I think that's, that's Robin Williams. And that's Leonard Nimoy. This is the Rat Pack, so... Sammy Davis Jr, Frank Sinatra and, and Dean Martin. Golden Girls, obviously. Lucille Ball. Jeopardy, who, to be honest, we don't really get it over here. He's not actually dead, but there you go. The Heebie Jeebies, I love that one. There we are. Who's this? I'm not actually sure who that is. And the Marilyn and Fire Fawcett, obviously. Punk. So some of them I really don't know who they are. So but I really like the book. I I mean yeah, I, I think it's a clever concept and his ideas are brilliant. I didn't see Charlie Chaplin in there, or oh, Alfred Hitchcock for that matter. Hmm, maybe they are and I've just missed them. But yeah, I was really excited to get this today. And I can't wait to come and be doing a buddy colour in this, hopefully with uh, colour in my room like John. Uh, we said we would, so hopefully we'll be doing that fairly shortly. So that, those are all the colouring books I got in August. Yes, I know, I'm just going to count them and I'll be right. Okay, so that was uh, 18 books added this month. Okay, well, at least four of them were free, so I can't complain, that's good. Um, next month I'm going to try and do even better and buy less. Obviously, can't count Colour in Heaven because I don't pay for that, it's paid for by Paul because he bought me the subscription, he gets it for my birthday and for Christmas every year, so that doesn't really count either. So, yeah, 18 books this month. 
hope you've enjoyed this haul if you want to see me colour in anything I've shown you let me know down in the comments below and I hope I've inspired you and enabled you to go and buy lots more stuff bye everyone